next is random number as a parameter. How to choose? Now I can choose this two. I want to parameterize. I know the tickets will take the value between one and ten. I want to now parameterize this tickets. Right? So if I go to the keyword view, now I select this value. You can see that I have selected the value. I select this configure value button, configure the value, select it, that is click on it. Now you can choose the parameter. In this parameter, now we have seen data table. Now I want to go with random number. In random number, I know the positive range, 1 to 10. Assume that somebody has let me go with positive range, then I will explain you on how to manage a negative flow in my script. Very important in the automation technique. Now I am going with the positive flow. Random number between 1 and 10, I am assigning the value to the parameter. This is random parameter. So this is the syntax of it. I move to the expert view. Random number within bracket 1, comma 10, start number and the end number. Start and end can be a variable as well and that variable can hold an expression as well. Now if I run the script, right, now the iteration is still there because I have not removed that action sheet iteration. I have not removed that run all rows also. It is still same. Now I am going to change this random number randomly between the value 1 and 10. I, when I run the script, I will run the script before I run just for you to see the value as well parallelly. I will just little bit move the script. I now run the script. Move the application so that you can see the script. I run the application now. Uh, there are people who have joined I think today. Uh, welcome to this session. Make sure all the recorded sessions are available. You can uh, take the help of our people and get the recorded session and so that you can see all the missed classes at the earliest. Now you can see now the next random number is 3. So it's a like third iteration. Random number is again will change. In random number you cannot say it has to always take the same value sorry a different unique value it can vary the value it can repeat the same value as well now as of now 1 3 then 7 then 2 that is that is what you have seen now is again varying the value again 3 has come so 3 is now repeated it is possible random number is not unique Random number randomly chooses the value between the left boundary and the right boundary. Now you have seen a positive flow. That is perfect. But unfortunately initially my, uh, as, uh, my data that is accepted for the ticket was 20. Later either there is a change or developer has made a mistake of he is restricted there to 20. Now what will happen if I run the script? Is the script is, this is called maintainability in the script. Is my script is maintainable? Is my script is rugged enough to take care of all the situations? I want to now pass and fail. Right? If I now run the script, it might work provided it has chosen the value of random number right between 1 and 10. Now I made it as 20 now. So 8 is within 10 so it will work. Within this 5 iterations we don't know when it will take more value. If it takes more than 10 my script is going to fail. But I want to fail the test case but I don't want the script to fail. Now it has taken 20. Maximum boundary. Now you can see that the system is failing because 
the flight reservation you have gone into the negative flow in the application application is doing that validation it says only 10 tickets may be ordered at one time it may be a requirement mistakes it may be your data mistake whatever the mistake is i don't want the script to stop but i want this to be reported as an error message this is called negative flow in the automation very important concept very important to understand right so how to manage it there are several ways you can manage it one using recovery manager another using if conditions you can manage it in several ways let us see how we can manage